pop quiz. Which movie is this scene from? Okay, for those of you who are born much earlier than me, you'll realize there's two versions of Karate Kid. This was the version born in 84, or rather made in 84. And if you are, sorry? It's the only version, because you only recognize that the only version. <laughs> okay. If you are a Gen Y like myself, and you're more acquainted with the Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith version, you'll see a second version. And how many of you are 50 to 68 years old? Okay. Mao Shifu, okay? In Chinese, deference Shifu, okay? So, you, sir, I know I have to give you a double bow, okay? My hair is obviously very different color from you, okay? So, lesson for Gen Y number one deference, okay? I'm not too sure if you were born in the 80s, you recall this. So this is what the generation Y, the young people like me, will tend to say about the baby boomers. People of the 50 years old, you know, the first thing they'll say is not open to ideas. I circle and read just to keep a bit focused because it's a short keynote. Key thing is they react based on old habits and they're not open to look from different perspective. To our baby boomers, is that true? No, no exactly. Okay, of course it's not true. For our generation X, okay, people in somewhat, you know, late 30s to 50s, this is what they said as well. They tend to be resistant to change the baby boomers. They tend to do it their own way. And they are very fixed. There's only one way. It's my way or the... Exactly. So this has been repeated in your organization, your company already. Okay. So this, in, in a whole nutshell, this is an attitude to change, okay? But is, is it surprising that the later, the preceding generations all feel that Generation Y are the most adaptive? And I just want to put off two case studies um, to showcase change. There was this company, you know, much earlier than now where we are. They had this product and they had this slogan called, you push the button and we do the rest. Make a guess, what company is that? You push the button and we do the rest. It's not Twitter, it's not Facebook. Sorry? Laundry. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, laundry as in the, the washing machine, right? <laughs> okay, okay. That's fair enough. You do the, you do the pushing and do the rest. <laughs> that is close. That is close. Okay, I got a new case study. What else? You push the button and we do the rest. It's actually a very excellent management case study. Anyone? It is from the company called... <laughs> 